Hi, DC Vigilante here. So I haven't made a video for quite a long time and well, as I said, I'm not a YouTuber. Uh, I'm on the night shift. Oh god, it's just a sneeze is coming up. And I just make videos of my thoughts and my feelings and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and so, but I don't really want the most YouTubers, you know, they take what's on Twitter or on Vero or what's on the news and you know, they put it on the screen and stuff like that. I, I don't want to do that. I want to talk in general about what's happening. Uh, I've got two channels. I've got me and my, my own channel, Big Willie, for me, that just, it's just me rambling about. We've really edited videos about my past and stuff like that. You can see it all on Facebook. Anyway, uh, and then you've got this one, DC. Uh, and it's just... You know, videos about my thoughts, my feelings, passion, everything else, and what's going through my mind. So, this recently, um, uh, I had a wee work with Film Club. Film Club uh, manages my, my, my page, my DC Vigilante page. He's an uh, admin of that, along with Comic Book Marks, their admin. Uh, so, they help with that. But I had to, I had to like talk with the uh, film gubber, post a, a message because he was, I felt in one of his videos there he was, he was kind of undermining Star Wars fans or geeks and gamers. Now I can get why some people can be off with geeks and gamers because Jeremy, coming across, he's not a big DCU Zack Snyder fan, you know, Zack Snyder's films for DC. But he does like the guy, does like his other films, but he's just not big on, you know, like Mars Steel or BBS and stuff like that. But his other editors, the other people that does his Geeks and Gamers, they all want the Snyder Cut. They, they, they love it. So, and but what he's posting just now is about Catherine Kennedy and how much her and Star Wars is basically ruined, mainly because of the jail of George Lucas. Now, again, I've said I've. I'm a Star Wars fan, and uh, when I watched Force Awakens, I, I realised that it was done. They've, they've destroyed the characters that I knew, uh, they destroyed the character, uh, the galaxy that I knew. It was like the first New Hope all over again, um, and I just felt, it was, I just, and then when I heard all the news, what was happening in the next ones, I was just glad I didn't pay the money, and for a, a guy that collected all the books and the graphic novels and the games and stuff like that it's as much as I do with the DC I, I just felt like they have just destroyed you know a part, a part of my, uh, my no, I can't really wear a, a, a Star Wars t-shirt because then I would like have to explain no I'm like George Lucas is Star Wars none of this rubbish that's out just now and, and I tried to explain to Phil and Gubb that they've destroyed Catherine Kennedy has destroyed Star Wars, um, maybe Gigi Abrahams was a part of it as well, and of course Disney. They they've destroyed a, a franchise. They've they've harmed it more than what happened to Zack Snyder because Zack Snyder, the thing that was harmed with him was his film. First of all, Justice League destroyed that. They tried to destroy BVS, but brought out the ultimate cut, and the the future DCU, right? Uh, but of course. They've got all of these other directors coming in and making it. Aquaman was success, Wonder Woman was success, we still have Wonder Woman. But it's still for me, stay true to the characters of Batman and Superman, different versions of it. It didn't um, destroy my passion for DC. I love it even more now because of these films. Um, and of course those fans out there of DC who didn't like it, of course, have got so much else in you know, out there for DC that they can like instead, but with Star Wars, it's like one whole franchise, one story, one galaxy. Uh, so for me, for a, and a lot of fans, it's been destroyed, really. There's, there's talks about George Lucas coming back and trying to take the helm and uh, try and fix it, but it's too late. They've destroyed the character of Luke Skywalker and everything else. And some fans don't get that. Some people are just... Anyway, so that was it. Now... Talking about the DCE, and as I say, fans of passion, 
you know, I said, I look at my page and see the numbers going down. They don't like the sort of argumentative side of the page. So they sort of dislike and they, they go for the more, um, let's talk about brighter stuff and positive stuff. But there's not really much out there. And I like to raise the questions and that, that a lot of people are asking. For instance, there's one that keeps on cropping up about the DCEU. A lot of people saying that it's done, it's finished, um, it's they're done with it. And to be honest, you shouldn't be. Um, when when they came in and they tore apart Justice League and Zack Snyder, that was it finished right there and then. Uh, because as we know, Jeff Johns came together with Kevin Smith and he showed an outline of future movies that they were going to do. Everything from Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, um, all that sort of stuff. And they were all going to make all these movies and it was going to be Justice League and there was talk about Justice League 2, Justice League 3. Zack Snyder was behind all of that. So they put a stop to that straight away. For me, that was the end of the DCU. The United Movies Together. But there's still speculation of what's happening with this Flashpoint movie. Will it bring in so many? Especially after we had the crisis on Earth on the TV show where you connected Ezra Miller. I mean, there was a lot of people saying, oh, Ezra Miller must be finished with the role. We've, we've got Ezra Miller. We don't know about Cyborg yet. We've got Aquaman and Wonder Woman all still playing the same parts. Henry Cavill still admit at times they say he's Superman. So... But we have a new Batman. And Ben Affleck's got all these family traumas going on just now. And uh, he's got to get himself fixed. And, you know, he tried to work on a script that seemed to be doing well, but he just couldn't get it to work. Or was it something that Warner Brothers tried to do, tried to intervene? We're now talking about people running, different people running the show, from Jim Lee to J.J. Abrahams, and even though I like J.J. Abrahams and some of the stuff he's done, for me, he doesn't have a track, a, a really good enough track record that that makes, you know, and, and so I've still got my my doubts about him taking over. But with Jim Lee, um, especially when he's friends with Zack Snyder and everything else, and he, and he said, yes, put Ezra Miller on the flash, that means he's the guy. Now, he's a guy, if he was the one, if he's the top man, then I believe DC's in a good place. Um, uh, Gunn, that does, I think, doing the Suicide Squad, um, he's good friends with Zach, so who knows? I just want to know who's responsible for releasing something like the Snyder Cut. And that's something we're all pinning our hopes for, for this cut, so we can get an end to or some sort of ending to what Zack Snyder was trying to trying to say. But as far as, you know, there's always going to be some DC movies. And let's forget about linking them. Let's just look at them as standalone movies. And Zack Snyder actually said that in an interview one time, that they don't have to follow Marvel. They don't have to, you know, go as light and as cheery, and it should be more director-driven. I mean, just recently, Kevin Feige told the director that he wanted a PG-13, he was quite snippy about it, um, and the director's now walked away, because he wanted to do a sort of horror Doctor Strange thing, I believe, uh, I may be wrong there, but uh, he's walked off the set. So we want we want creativity, we want DC movies to be different, and if DC plays it right, we could have everything. We can have a couple of Superman, we could have Henry Cavill playing Superman, um, if Aquaman and Wonder Woman ever get back together again. And then, if need be, have another Superman doing something like the Russian Superman. You know, the Red Sun. Uh, and, I, and I think, gradually, people will, will um, you know, they'll get it. They'll, they'll, they'll get the whole gist of what DC is trying to do. I mean, right now, there's talks about a dark Justice League, and people say, well, should we not have standalone... Uh, characters first before we get to Justice League Dark. Are they? What are the normal people out there going to think when it's called Justice League Dark? Are they thinking it's a dark Batman, dark Superman? Um, 
it's I think I have more faith in the audience out there. I have more faith in the, in, in people in general to come with the right conclusions. As long as they do the research, as so long as they watch the film. And, you know, people made their mind up for Joker and proved the critics wrong. People have got more common sense if you let them, you know. Uh, it even goes back to, like, Pulp Fiction, you know, when the director wanted John Travolta to die in the middle then come back at, at, again at the end, start and everything. So it won't work. It did work because people are not as daft as you think. Um, so what, 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 where do I stand on the DCU? Yeah, I mean, as I say, I'm gutted in so many respects. I'm gutted that Ben Affleck, I won't be able to see Ben Affleck, but again, I might see him in the Snyder Cut. And when people do see him in the Snyder Cut, people will really respect him more if they haven't already. Um, so, still that. We're going to get a, we're going to get another Batman movie. Um, but again, yeah, I, yeah, I want Batman, yeah, I want Aquaman, Wonder Woman, yeah. I want so many other characters on the big screen. I want so many unknowns because DC is more than Batman and Superman. DC is more than Wonder Woman and Aquaman. There's so many great characters out there. And even though DC now realises that they didn't need a connected universe, we may get what we, you know, we may get what we didn't know we wanted. You know, so it's, it's not the end. So just... So for those people who say they're done with DC or DCU or, or it's finished, it's not finished. You know, as we say, expanded universe. That is where we're going. Think of it that way. When we say expanded universe, we mean uh, different variations. You know, we, we, we mean... Uh, multiple Earths may not all be, uh, you know, connected to the one universe, but we may end up with multiple versions, which is just as good, which is still as fresh, and uh, and it's something that Marvel isn't doing. And I think that's what our mis the Warner Brothers' mistake was, first of all. And, to be honest, what Warner Brothers should have done, but they didn't probably have the money, what Marvel done was, they made all these movies, Right, they planned out all these movies to get to the end, you know, the end game. But most of those movies up to them were pretty rubbish, you know, you know. The but they made it because they they were they had the money. They had the money to to make those bad movies. Warner Brothers probably felt that they didn't because everything was getting judged by people who have been watching Marvel films. And this is oh DC can't make a billion dollar movie, and that's because DC was trying to be unique in the way of making movies. And I believe this is a good turning point. I'm looking forward to Birds of Prey. I'm looking forward to anything DC gives us because I am a supporter, more of a fan. I am a supporter. I will support them, and I'll make. And it's up to us to convince Warner Brothers that they have an audience for DC. So stop with all your negativity about, it's, you know, a connected universe. And just enjoy what we have, what we get. Because these are going to be upcoming directors with their own vision. And it's all down to thanks to, to the fight for Zack that Warner Brothers is realising that, you know, they should be making mistakes. They should be making f films that fail. And maybe by realising that now, they'll take more risks and uh, we may end up with a, a joint universe. I know, I keep going on and on. But again, nothing is scripted. Nothing is written. It's just my thoughts. Uh, let me hear yours. Thanks for subscribing. Um, please like, share, whatever, the video. Uh, the main reason why I, I made this video is because I got a, a, a one wee subscriber there, uh, a girl, uh, what was her name, was it Barbara or something, uh, just subscribed, um, so thank you for that, it, as I say, I don't get any money for, for any of this, um, but no, 
but knowing that it gets watched, these videos get watched, uh, it's just enough uh, to propel me to make more. And for my, my page, my DC Vigilante Facebook page, to carry on, it's all down to you girls and guys out there. Thank you, this has been my truth. DC Vigilante, out.